Hey, I'm Rachel J, and this is Cultivator Kitchen. Today we are making a Greek cabbage salad that is so good, no lettuce in there, it stays nice and crispy, and it's easy to take on the go, and perfect flavors to have all spring and summer long. Here's what you'll need. Here are all the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. I've got half a head of green cabbage that I sliced really thinly so where it's almost shredded. Similarly, I have a quarter of a yellow onion which I've sliced as thinly as possible, two scallions, some garlic chives and parsley, a lemon, sea salt and garlic powder, and a little bit of really good extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna take a nice large salad bowl and start adding all of our ingredients in. Next, we're gonna add the onions and the scallions and our other herbs as well. I did these very fine. The trick to the salad is really how thin and how fine you can get all of the ingredients for the perfect texture. Next, we're gonna add on our spices. One tablespoon of olive oil and the juice of the whole lemon. And then you just toss it and mix this really well to get all the sauce incorporated throughout the salad and the lemon juice will work on breaking down the onions and the cabbage once it's all incorporated. I've gone ahead and mixed this for a solid two minutes and it is starting to break down. I wish you could smell this because it smells so fragrant, so delicious. I'm gonna let this sit for another two minutes and then serve it up. This is ready to serve right away. I love to serve this with crusty bread or a salad or a pasta dish or maybe some pizza. And it's great to take with you to work or a party or to have in a picnic box. And it's just a very delicious, easy salad to enjoy this time of year. I'm gonna go enjoy this nice bowl of salad. It serves two to three people, and it's easy to double if you wanna make a lot more for a lot more folks. And you could also put in a little bit of tahini if you wanted it more of a coleslaw, creamy consistency. I hope you guys are gonna love this recipe. Let me know what you think below, and I'll see you next time.